So the students were protesting in the main quad of the university last Friday, and we've had a series of protests. Our students are outraged at what's going on in our name and with our tax dollars in Gaza. Um, and uh, while they were protest protesting, and I will say peacefully, um, last Friday, as your um, recording of Layla's uh, uh, recounting of what happened, um, they all of a sudden smelled this horrible stench. And I've, I've smelled skunk water when I've been in the West Bank um, at protests. It is horrible. Um, and what the students were able to do is examine video from that protest and identify, I think, three um, older students. We have a, Columbia has a program with a graduate relationship with um, older students from other countries, including um, Israel. And it's something that um, many of us were concerned about because so many of those Israeli students who then come to the Columbia campus are coming right out of their military service. And they've been known to harass Palestinian and other students on our campus. The students were able to identify three of these exchange students, basically, from Israel who had just come out of military service, who were spraying the pro-Palestinian students with this skunk water. And they were disguised in kafia so that they could mix in with the students who were, who were um, demanding that the university divest from, um, uh, from companies that are supporting the occupation and the war. Uh, and we're, um, we're protesting and demanding a ceasefire.